You could use noise, turbulence, whatever. If you do noise, you can actually like animate it so it'll like move and stuff, which is an interesting idea. But random is probably fine. You can change the C to that just so everything's not the same. There you go. Cool. Anyway, let's go back to our plane effector. And you want to make sure again that the matrix scatter sees it, which it doesn't. So we want to make sure we grab that, drag it in there. Cool. And you can like mix these, uh, which is cool. You can mix the strength of them in there. So we're going to go to the plane effector. And all we need to do for this one is go to a scale, uniform scale, and we want to set it to negative one. And that's going to shrink everything down to zero. But we don't want it to shrink everything. We want it to only shrink a few things. So we're going to go into our fields here. And this is where we can control this with multiple ways. You can use a linear field if you want. And if you come in here and look at our linear field, let's go ahead and go to our, multi our above view, grab our linear field, and you can see how it's you know, a little big here. We can scale it down and rotate it. So, oops. Rotate that so it's 90 degrees up. And what we can do, you see, is if we like come back in here, we can animate it so it can grow on. If we wanted it to grow from the bottom, you could do something like that. Where it's like, like gonna come up from the bottom, or obviously flip it around and have it go the other way. So we could come in here and do this, but we probably, you know, this is just for an idea. So if you just wanted it to be kind of just on the on the top like that can offset it a little bit so it's like oh facing the water if you're doing it on like a beach scene or something there you go so now it's just kind of doing that but it's a little too linear so how do we fix that well you can do it in the remapping but it's actually the best to go down here to the contour inside of the remapping and what i like to do is i go to curve and inside the curve i grab the bottom and i pull it into about 0.4 ish and i grab the top and i pull that into about 0.5 and then i grab the top and i pull it down like that so you get like a very tiny little gradient up but you don't get these weird patches of just like speckly sparse moss so it's going to be the more of a hard cutoff boom like that as you can see now how you could just tell that to animate and grow on and just be like warm if you wanted to pretty cool and again you can use this across anything it doesn't have to be moss it could be you can make up some weird, like a bunch of spheres that have a weird, like fungus material on them and grow them across. 